reading through the Bible in a year. June 3rd, Deuteronomy chapter 7, Psalm 90, Isaiah 35, and Revelation chapter 5. When Yahweh your God brings you into the land that you are entering to take possession of it, and clears away many nations before you, the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, all of the Ites, seven nations more numerous and mightier than you. And when Yahweh your God gives them over to you, and you defeat them, then you must devote them to complete destruction. You shall make no covenant with them, and show no mercy to them. You shall not intermarry with them, giving your daughters to their sons, or taking their daughters for your sons. For they would turn away your sons from following me, to serve other gods. Then the anger of Yahweh would be kindled against you, and he would quickly destroy you. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall break down their altars, and dash in pieces their pillars, and chop down their ashram, and burn their carved images with fire. It was not because you were more in number than any people that Yahweh set his love on you and chose you, for you were the fewest of all the peoples. But it is because Yahweh loves you and is keeping the oath that he swore to your fathers, that Yahweh has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know, therefore, that Yahweh your God is God the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations and repays to their face those who hate him by destroying them. He will not be slack with those who hate him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore be careful to do the commandment and the statutes and the rules that I command you today. And because you listen to these rules, and keep them, and do them. Yahweh your God will keep with you the covenant and the steadfast love that he swore to your fathers. He will love you, bless you, and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, your grain, and your wine, and your oil, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock, and the land that he swore to your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all peoples, There shall not be a male or female barren among you or among your livestock. And and Yahweh will take away from you all sickness. And none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you knew, will he inflict on you. But he will lay them on all who hate you. And you shall consume all the peoples that Yahweh your God will give over to you. Your eyes shall not pity them, neither shall you serve their gods. For that would be a snare to you. If you say in your heart, these these nations are greater than I, how can I dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them, but you shall remember what Yahweh your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. The great trials that your eyes saw, the signs, the wonders, the mighty hand and the outstretched arm by which Yahweh your God brought you out. So will Yahweh your God do to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover. Yahweh your God will send hornets among them until those who are left and hide themselves from you are destroyed. You shall not be in dread of them, for Yahweh your God is in your midst, a great and awesome God. Yahweh your God will clear away these nations before you little by little. You may not make an end of them at once, lest the wild beasts grow too numerous for you. But Yahweh your God will give them over to you and throw them into great confusion until they are destroyed. And he will give their kings into your hand, and you shall make their name perish from under heaven. No one shall be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. The carved images of their gods you shall burn with fire. You shall not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, or take it for yourselves, lest you be ensnared by it. For it is an abomination to Yahweh your God. You shall not bring an abominable thing into your house and become devoted to destruction like it. You shall utterly detest and abhor it, for it is devoted to destruction.
Now, Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, for ever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, return, O children of man. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood, or like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are brought to an end by your anger. By your wrath we are dismayed. You have set our iniquities before you. Our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all our days pass away under your wrath. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are seventy, or even by reason of strength, eighty. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? So teach us to number our days, that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Yahweh, how long? Have pity on us, rather have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be shown to your servants, your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Now Isaiah 35. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of Yahweh, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. And the lame, shall, the lame man leap like a deer, and the tongue of the mute shall sing for joy. For waters break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. And the haunt of jackals, where they lie down, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. And a highway shall be there, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. It shall belong to those who walk on the way. Even if they are fools, they shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of Yahweh shall return, and shall come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Concluding today in Revelation chapter 5. Once again, questions, concerns, please read the notes. Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne, a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one 
in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God for, from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Then I looked, and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. The elders fell down, shipped. That's it for today. That's all the reading and all of the notes. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow. Behold the word of the Lord.